Hey everybody, this is Colin Jenkins here with Connect the Watts. And over the past month or so, I've had the opportunity to test out the new Mix 2 bike by Beachbody. And there's a few things on this bike that make it very unique. For one, it's the first connected fitness bike to offer two different membership programs, one being OpenFit and the other being Body. Later on in this review, we will dig into the difference between these two programs, but another thing that makes the Mix 2 bike unique is its price. It has one of the, if not the lowest cost of any of the comparable bikes with similar builds, screens, and quality, like Peloton, Nordic Track, Proform, Echelon, and others. To get to this lower cost, Mix did have to make some significant creative, and in some ways, eloquent design decisions. For some people, these decisions will absolutely turn them off. But for others, these design decisions will actually do the opposite, and they'll find the bike more attractive because of them. There is certainly a lot to talk about, so let's dig into my review of the Mix 2 bike. So, pun somewhat intended, the Mix 2 bike is definitely a mixed bag. In some areas, the quality is absolutely fantastic, and in other areas, things were definitely cut or are lacking in what I assume was their way to bring the cost of the bike down. But what I find impressive is that even though there were some cost saving measures taken with the Mix 2 bike, they were done with purpose and in a way that makes sense given the experience that Beachbody is trying to make here. So let's start with the resistance. Mix decided to go here with friction resistance instead of the more high tech and expensive magnetic resistance that you'll see in most other premium bikes. Magnetic resistance generally allows for a smoother and more quiet ride, which becomes more and more noticeable as you increase resistance on the bike. To compensate for this, Mix 2 actually has a really heavy 41 pound flywheel. And because the flywheel is so heavy, it actually smooths out the resistance quite a bit, so it ends up feeling much closer to magnetic resistance than it does to other friction-based resistance bikes that I've used. Now, while what they've done here with the friction resistance is very impressive, alongside it does come another limitation, and that is that there is no actual way to measure resistance. So you're not gonna be able to see your resistance level or total output when you're taking a class. Instead, the entire focus here on developing fitness with the Mix 2 bike is through personalized heart rate training. In fact, the first class that you were suggested to take in both of their programs has you discovering an estimated max heart rate. And this is great since generic formulas like 220 minus your age tend to be pretty off for a lot of people. So it's great that they actually emphasize that you really should test to find out what your max heart rate is. Then when you take classes, you will be led by the instructor to which one of three heart rate zones you should be in. They'll tell you what cadence you should be at, and then it is up to you to adjust the resistance up or down until you find yourself entering the correct heart rate zone. And so with this focus on heart rate zone training, you actually don't really need to know what your resistance levels are to get good results. And for those of you wondering, there are no leaderboards here, which kind of makes sense because there's really no point in leaderboards when you're doing personalized training like this. This focus on heart rate training really allows the mix two to kind of work around the fact that they can't measure resistance. And I think for some people, this might actually be a positive thing because I know a lot of people just wanna jump on a bike, have a good class, know that they're getting fitter, and don't really care about all of the metrics or numbers or trying to set records. On the other hand, I know a lot of people where having this limitation is definitely going to be a deal breaker for them. Because there are people who like looking at that data, want to see their current records and try to beat it, and also like to have a competitive experience on the leaderboard. And for those people, the mixed you bike probably isn't going to be the best fit. Now, while we're talking about heart rate training, the Mix 2 bike does come with a Polar OH1 heart rate monitor, as well as a charger for it that plugs right into the back of the monitor. They've also just released a software update that allows for the Mix 2 bike to connect to the Apple Watch via the app. So if you use an Apple Watch, you will be able to use it here, which I know for many of us is definitely a big plus. The monitor on the Mix 2 is 30% thinner than it was previously, and it's a 21.5 inch HD touchscreen tablet, which also allows for 360 degree rotation, which you typically only see on bikes that cost around $2,000 or more. And that rotating screen, it's really clutch because whether you choose open fit or body, 
a big part of their program is the classes that you're going to be taking off of the bike, like strength, yoga, bar, mobility, and many of the classes that combine those various categories. On the tablet are 20 watt speakers, which aren't amazing by any means, but they are better than the regular Peloton bike. The screen also has an eight megapixel camera. Now, a lot of bikes have cameras like this, and I usually don't really mention them very much or talk about them at all because no one really uses them. But with the OpenFit and body programs, it does seem like this camera is going to finally be getting some use. Because as we'll talk about later, OpenFit does offer a lot of live classes. And right now they're just on the app, but they are coming to the bike. And when they do, these live classes tend to be very small group, more personalized classes where the instructor is using the camera to help correct people's form and give them feedback. And for the body program, well, there's something called the podcast, which I was able to jump into, which is a ton of fun. What's up, stud? Bod, what's going on, my friend? And you got someone on the bike too. There's a lot of fitness going on in that house. I'm not mad at that. Keep it coming, sir. And that's basically something you can sign up for to be a part of the live class. And they don't have that for every class, but when they do have it, I think a lot of people are gonna be trying to get those spots because it's just a lot of fun. And I think that's a creative way to actually finally use the camera on these bikes. Now heading down to the pedals on the bike, you can find this little Bluetooth sensor. And this is the sensor that reads your cadence. And evidently it's supposed to be about 10% more accurate than magnetic resistance based sensors for cadence. But since most cadence sensors in 2021 are fairly accurate, I really don't think that many people are going to be able to notice that 10% improvement. So take that as you will. The pedals that are included are a combination of both a toe cage and speed clip-in, which is honestly what I think most bikes should come with so that everybody who gets the bike can just go riding on it right away without cycling shoes. But for some reason, a lot of other bikes, they don't provide this. So good on them. However, these toe clip-ins, I have to say, are really hard to tighten and loosen up. So that could be a pain if you're sharing the bike, but you can always buy and install new pedals for fairly cheap, which is probably what I'll end up doing here. Now the adjustment systems on the Mix2 bike, they're pretty sweet because most bikes, they offer a three-way adjustment system, meaning you can raise and lower the seat, move the seat forward and backwards and raise the handlebars up and down. But here there is a four-way adjustment system because they've added the ability to adjust the handlebars closer or farther away. And for those of you who are pretty short or really tall, you're going to appreciate this. My wife, for example, is four foot 10. And on other bikes, we typically have to buy additional accessories, some of which cost over $200 to be able to bring the handlebars closer so that she can be in a good and comfortable position, which is ultimately what you want to have on a bike. So the fact that Mix took the opportunity to add that adjustment to the bike is very appreciated. And overall, I really just like the design of the Mix 2. It's got some good weight to it coming in at 134 pounds, so it stays real stable. And the white one that I have looks great, and I think it'll look nice in most rooms. Now, as I've mentioned, with Mix 2, you get two different options for memberships, one being open fit and the other being body both of which come with five profiles and are priced at $29 per month, which is about $10 cheaper per month than most other connected fitness programs. OpenFit is designed for those looking for a more boutique, small group or one-on-one -on -one experience. They have structured programs and tons of on-demand classes, including strength, yoga, mobility, and a lot of classes that blend various categories, which I think is really cool. And soon OpenFit will have live classes with real-time feedback for both on the bike and off the bike classes. And the OpenFit app actually already has these live classes. And as you can see, there are a ton here to choose from. And that's because each live class has a pretty small max cap, which allows for a more personalized approach than you typically see. And during my testing, I did enjoy some aspects of OpenFit. I just felt it wasn't quite for somebody like me. I think it's more purposely designed for somebody more new to fitness or somebody who wants a little bit more hands-on instruction and guidance and just a more friendly and welcoming approach. On the other hand, Body, which is still in beta, looks to be very much a competitor to Peloton. The live classes here have a production value that easily rivals, if not surpasses Peloton and other studio ride programs. 
and they have been adding more and more of these classes to the schedule each week, including scenic rides. And while the body beta is still supposed to continue for another month or so, it's pretty impressive how much content they've already created in the past few months. And even though Body's music comes from Feed FM, like iFit uses, which I have complained about in the past, they actually take the time to make a curated playlist with Feed FM, which for a studio class is super critical and really elevates Body here a lot. And with their lineup of well-known and top-notch coaches, this production value, they are throwing a lot into making this program as good as it could possibly be. Also included with the body membership is access to the past 20 years or so of programs they have developed like P90X, Insanity, and countless others. And when Body was first announced, they made the comparison saying that this would be the Disney Plus of fitness. And of course, that was just a soundbite and I didn't really think too much about it. But after looking at what they have here and the access you get to all of these popular and huge programs, including the videos, the PDFs, the nutrition plans, and everything they've developed over the years, I think the comparison of this being a Disney Plus of fitness is actually pretty accurate. And honestly, body is just way more my jam than open fit is, even though it's not out of beta yet. But of course, if you get the mix to bike, you should definitely try out trials for both of them so you can see which one would work best for you. So with the mix to bike, what we have here is just a really well designed bike at a very affordable cost. And to get this low price, they did have to make some sacrifices. And these sacrifices, while it won't be a big turnoff for many people, there will absolutely be a group of people who will not like this bike. And for me, I am one of those people that do like digging into the stats and looking at my metrics and seeing my power output and comparing myself to others. But even besides that, I still like riding it just because I'm so impressed by what I've seen in the body beta. The production value is just through the roof. The coaches are very good and entertaining and the hundreds of completely built out programs that they have on demand here. Well, that is just an enormous amount of value that is all baked into this membership. Of course, make sure to check the description below to see any updates as I do update my Connected Fitness reviews fairly regularly because things are always changing with these devices and the programs. And if you're like most people, you'll probably want to know what are the differences between this bike and the Peloton. So make sure to check out the video here and you'll learn all about what makes them different. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over there.